El Paso and thank you for joining us on this edition of Your City in Five. I'm Ricky Saez. We're out here with the El Paso Fire Department as they promote their annual MDA Fill the Boot campaign. I'll tell you more about this campaign in a moment, but first, here's a look at some city stories. Outdoor pools are opening for the Memorial Day weekend. Parks and Recreation crews cleaned and filled the city's three outdoor pools. Nations Tobin in Northeast, Grandview in Central, and Pavo Real in the Mission Valley are ready to welcome swimmers. The outdoor pools officially open for the summer on June 2nd. There is a small fee to use the pools, but don't forget about the city's eight spray parks. They're free and they're open from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day of the week. May is National Water Safety Month and it's a great time to brush up on ways to prevent drowning before the summer swimming season. The Drowning Prevention Coalition, made up of various city departments and other agencies, recently held a water safety demonstration. The organization says water safety should always be the number one concern, especially when it comes to children. Always be vigilant of your children uh, uh, and if you don't know how to swim, learn to swim. And the drowning is silent. You, know, you, don't, hear, you don't hear the splashing or screaming like they, you do on TV. It's, you know, it's a silent drowning. It's, 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 it's uh, horrific. If you don't know how to swim, the Parks and Recreation Department offers swimming lessons for children and adults. Visit the Parks and Rec website for more information on those classes. From water to air, the El Paso International Airport is gearing up for a busy summer travel season. The TSA says a record number of air travelers are expected beginning Memorial Day weekend through Labor Day. To make traveling smoother, airport officials ask that you plan ahead. Arrive at least two hours before your flight, bring necessary documents like an ID and boarding pass. Also, the cell phone parking lot is available if you're waiting to pick up travelers. You can find out more useful tips by visiting flyelpaso.com. Well, just in time for summer, a new hotel has opened in the iconic Bassett Tower in downtown. Your City and 5 Media Specialist Jonathan Romo takes us inside the Alop Hotel. We're here in downtown El Paso at the new Aloft Hotel. Joining me is Heidi Poole, General Manager with the Aloft. Yes, Thank you, uh, Heidi, for joining us. She's going to give us a tour of what to expect inside this new hotel, right? Yes, I am. Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's do this. The building, or most El Pasoans know this building. It's the old Bassett Tower. Uh, and we brought it back to its former glory, and we kept a lot of its original um, integrity. And of course, then we changed the, the inside the welcoming area, it got modernized. Well, Aloft is a hotel that is different by design. We're not your typical hotel. As you can see, uh, once we tour again, we have a lot of unique features that a lot of hotels don't offer. We have 89 rooms, uh, two of them are suites. They have their own elevator, so it's a 14 and 15th floor. It's gonna be spectacular because it's their own private entrance. Elements of this building that were still in place that were old, which is really the facade and the historic lobby, which you saw, which is spectacular. And some of the elevator lobbies were kept in place. Uh, at the same time, we had to create a plan that allowed us to bring the modern elements. The idea behind this hotel uh, and the lobby you see around you is to create a comfortable area where our hotel guests can come out of their rooms and be in a much more social environment. And that completes the tour of the new Aloft Hotel. Thank you, Heidi, for joining us. Thank you for coming, and please uh, look us up and enjoy our amenities once we're open. All right, thank you so much, El Paso. Thank you. A group of high-profile international health officials visited the public health department. Your City and 5 Media Specialist, Nigel Sherman, tells us why they were in the Sun City. We're excited about this. Uh, these are people representing four different continents, six different countries, high-level uh, health officials in their respective countries, and uh, they have chosen El Paso as a place to come to learn about what we do around HIV, maternal health, and uh, border issues. And uh, we look forward to sharing our uh, successes and our challenges. 
I'm Romo Sele Kenneth Ujime. I'm a pharmacist and medical logistician. I work with the Nigerian Ministry of Defense Health Program. I must confess that I was uh, really amazed at the organization and uh, the structure that is in place here. The different divisions within the department have clearly spelled out roles and responsibilities. It was obvious that um, the heads of these divisions had um, the requisite uh, know-how and um, um, I also uh, realized that they had well-competent staff working with them and with that they should be able to achieve uh, organizational goals and objectives. It was very glaring during the course of our tour here. Now, we're just honored to have them uh, come and choose El Paso as the place where they'll learn about how we do public health in the United States. I must commend the director for his hospitality and the packages we're going home with. The experience will be uh, something we'll remember. It will be indelible. Uh, besides, I've really had a nice time. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nigel, for that report. Well, the El Paso Fire Department is using a boot to fight muscular dystrophy. Here's what the Fill the Boot campaign is all about. MDA Fill the Boot campaign has been a tradition with the International Association of Firefighters for the last 60 plus years. Um, in that time, firefighters have stood out on street corners, um, asked for money from normal everyday citizens. I'd like to give out to the citizens that if they see our guys in the street, feel free. Take out your loose change. Feel between the seats. See what you got down there, okay? Um, uh, ask your kids what kind of change they have. Change. We get a lot of donations from kids sitting in back seats because they, they like to see the firefighters. They like to see us out there oh, handing yeah, them the nice sticker little. after they donate. Advanced, they Paul. love that. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. I just think it's for a good cause and I want to help you guys out. We're, we're taking our likability and applying it to some kids that really need some help and an organization that does a, a lot of good for these children and these families. The Fill the Boot campaign runs all the way through Memorial Day, but you can donate money anytime after that. And a reminder, all city administrative offices will be closed on Memorial Day. For a complete list of all city closures for the holiday, click on the Memorial Day closures banner at ElPasoTexas.gov. That's going to do it for this edition of Your City in 5. But make sure to stay up to date with all city news by visiting citytvep.com. We're also on social media, and you can always catch us on City TV. Ready, guys? Until next time, I'm Ricky Saias for Your City in 5.